I've got a lot of beef here. We are gonna start by pressure canning some burritos in a jar. It is by far my favorite canning recipe ever. It's delicious, it's amazing. It is a Rebel canning recipe. So if you are not comfortable not following USDA guidelines, you're gonna have to leave, sorry. But for those of you who like to make your own rules in your own kitchen, come along with me and let's make the greatest meal ever. I am not gonna need all of this meat. I actually plan on canning meatloaf, but I didn't have enough wide jars, wide mouth jars, so change of plan. Now for this recipe, I need about a cup of meat per quart jar. You can use ground beef, chicken, pork, whatever meat you choose, throw it right in, whatever kind of meat you like in your burritos. I'm gonna use beef because I have a whole bunch of ground beef. It tastes good with everything. So I'm gonna do about seven cups worth of ground beef after it's cooked. Now also while I do this, I am just going to throw the taco seasoning right in with the beef, but you can throw it into your jar instead of doing it while you cook the meat. Either way, it tastes fine. I'm just gonna do it as I cook. So right here, I've got about a pound pre-cooked. It's about two cups worth. So I'll probably end up doing like eight cups of ground beef. Maybe nine, we'll see what happens. My pan does look gross. It's just butter, it's not. It's just butter. May you always find your way to higher ground. May you always keep your head held up high. I did decide to throw in a little bit extra and just use some of this meat for dinner tonight. Shining from within, I can tell that you're tough. Just the side of you when I'm at my weakest point. Makes a world of difference, so oh, you make me strong. You could totally make your own taco seasoning. It would be more healthy for you than using this because it's got like all the anti-caking crap in it. But I have it, so I'm using it. Ordering a cup of love, feel it rising up and above you alone. Also, I don't want to cook this meat completely 100 percent I'm gonna cook it like 85 to 95 percent or 85 to 90 percent and then it's going to finish cooking in the pressure cooker. Pressure can. Strong. You're the first thing in Here we go. We've got about what do we got here? 8 cups of taco meat. Next up, we are gonna chop up these onions. This is more than I will need, but since I'm chopping up onions anyway, I might as well get it done for the week. Also, I'm pretty sure I've mentioned this before on my channel, but save your ends, save your onion ends. You can use them to make broth, chicken broth, beef broth, veggie broth. All the rocks. The light will always know where to go. You will always keep my heart and soul strong.
Just 